You're about to watch a Trains Newswire video. If you enjoy what you see, consider watching some of our other full-length videos. Selling Sunshine, the Florida Trains. Locomotive 2017, a video companion to our best-selling annual issue. Big Steam is back. All of these and more are available from our website, KalmbachHobbyStore.com. Good morning. Today is Friday, October 20th, 2017. Welcome to another episode of Trains Newswire Roundup. We are so glad you could join us today. I am Steve Sweeney. Hi, and I'm Jim Wren. We've got more than 40 great stories mm -hmm. on Newswire this week. Got some terrific photos, got some mm -hmm. terrific video. Yes. Let's get right to the news. Right to the news. Well, I wish we could put them in there in the air, but we got trains on land and trains by sea, starting with a via a stranded via rail consist up in Churchill on Hudson Bay, fully loaded. They're gonna get the rarest of rare miles, an entire train set going from Hudson Bay all the way around the Atlantic coast, somewhere into Montreal. That train set has been stuck up north for, well, let's see, four or five May, months. Like, like, it was since last May. Since last May, so yep. it's been five months. It's crazy. It's been there for a while. It's crazy. And now they're leaving just as the polar bears are migrating. Right. So, which is a good thing. Yeah. Hope Other that line gets rebuilt. I would like to do the, yeah. the trip to Poland. They, they to have like, 19, like a, something in the teens, like 19 washouts and five bridges oh, out. It was, it was huge. It was, it was crazy. It'd be it a just, miracle if it comes back, but I hope it does. Absolutely. Crazy. But very interesting that in, in, in the F-40s are taking a ride mm -hmm. on the on the boat. Yeah. Absolutely. That's going to be fun. So we're going to be following There's a that. neat video of that on the newsroom. Yeah. So we, oh, it's check right. it out. Yeah, we got the video of that. We also have a, a, a short snip of video from China, mm -hmm. okay, talking about trains going by sea. There's going to be uh, a new um, four-car train set coming from China for the MBTA. First of like a 400 um, For the orange order. Line, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. Painted orange. So we've got the video of that on Newswire plus plus a brief story. This is the first uh, of the train sets uh, being made in China, uh, of train sets that CRC, the giant Chinese company, is going to be building for Boston and Chicago and Los Angeles and Philadelphia. Wow. So huge order, more than a thousand cars wow. altogether. Pretty big stuff. And then another train by sea happened in Milwaukee yesterday. It was supposed to happen in Cleveland, Ohio, but there is a 65-ton Whitcomb that was loaded up on a ship yesterday, mm -hmm. bound for Holland, for World War II Museum. No kidding. Which is kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Uh, anyway, so it was, it was a U.S. Army locomotive that was, you know, returned to the U.S. and now it's going to go back to museum. And speaking of military in World War II, there is a new UP Heritage Unit. I saw that. And, and it's, it's actually by, by air, if you will. That's true. It's, There's it's, the air. It's, yeah. in, it's in commemoration of a B-17 that Union Pacific uh, employees sponsored during mm -hmm. World War II. And uh, they just rolled it out this week, and of course, I'm, uh, you and I talked about this yesterday. Yes. I, I'm still trying to figure out why they did this, when they did this. Right. I, I know UP and all the other major railroads hire a lot of former military people, and they, they like to uh, commemorate their service, and, and we're, we're happy to do mm -hmm. that too, but I'm just really curious, you know, why, why roll this one out now? So if anyone knows, yeah. drop us a note. Now, what I wish they would have done is just carried the whole Spirit of Union Pacific theme throughout and just painted the whole thing silver, nice big slashing blue stripe mm -hmm. and the handwritten. I think that would have been it's like pretty cool. perfect. It's, it's pretty cool. It's a, it's a cool engine. Yeah. I, know, I, I know there was some de debate yesterday in, mm -hmm. in the office about whether it was designed by committee or whatever. But Well, they got, they, they got everything in there. They got every branch yeah. of the armed services in there from, right. from the Coast Guard. And uh, even the uh, POW MIA folks yeah. got a nod. Yeah. Uh, on the locomotive, so check that out. Which was good. Yeah, we got that. And then, to top it off, so this is the, this is the last of my theme of the thread this morning. Uh, if you're already in Europe anyway, there were diesel locomotives from the United States that entered Portugal at the end of World War II because of a giant coal shortage. And one of those survived an RSC-2, or an RSC-2. Crazy thing. I guess there's only one other mm. at the Illinois Railway Museum. Pretty rare. But, uh, you know, Ralph Spielman wrote up a story for that. He visited the locomotive and detailed its specs and its history and working life. It's actually on um, top top speed freight or top speed passenger trains in Portugal. Wow. Which was kind of cool. That which, is pretty cool. Which you don't see with an Alco. No. Very often. But I then mean, again, you know, when I was in Peru a couple of weeks ago, we yeah. had Alcos on the Belmont Explorer. Oh, well, that's true. And, um, you know, elsewhere in the, in the world, you know, they just take, take, a, take mm. them out and run them and Treat them just Let like any go. other locomotive. Yeah. So anyway, so see that, see that on Newswire. Jim, I, you know, I've hogged all the time so far. What's what's picked your interest so far? You wanted to save this for last, so you, you go first. Okay. Okay. Well, my, my, my 
My last piece is a is a ender here. Okay. Okay. Uh, EC pre, ECP brakes, electronically controlled pneumatic brakes. Just come out and say, look, now two government agencies plus the Transportation Research Board says not economically feasible. It could change if we have lots of crude oil trains, but now not going to work. And railroads are just quietly applauding. That's that's what I hear. Uh, GE Transportation gets a new president, which was fast. Saw that. That this came just before um, GE Corporate's CEO, top guy, Mr. Flannery, said he's going to slash $20 billion from the GE business units. So we, I guess we can take that as a good sign mm. that GE Transportation, locomotive maker, has a, hang in there. has a new president, so yeah. that's good. Uh, we're also following um, CN Mainline shutdown in Alberta. You saw this earlier this week. I missed it. You missed that. Well, yeah. So there were high winds in Alberta and Saskatchewan. I said it right. Alberta and Saskatchewan earlier this week that blew over two trains, uh, two intermodal trains. Okay. One of them derailed. One of the wind uh, events derailed 67 intermodal cars on oh a lot. So they cleaned that up pretty fast. But the other one was kind of bad. Uh, derailed locomotives and 13 intermodal cars on a bridge oh dear. on the CN Main Line in Alberta. Yeah, it's not good. So the, between the wind and the falling freight, um, I guess it was airborne briefly. Yeah, yeah. We're, so we can go back there. Yeah. They, they, yeah. So anyway, they're still cleaning it up. The main line is still shut down. They have to repair the bridge and inspect it. So we're going to be following up on that for you. And now we can talk about CSX. That, that which must be talked about every week. CSX. So yeah, they're, they're There's slashing, slashing their intermodal lanes. Some of the, the lower volume lanes are going mm -hmm. to either get service cut back or, mm -hmm. or just, or is it cut out too, I think? Well, yeah, cut out. And so, then some of it, it will no longer be dedicated intermodal trains, it'll go in manifest freights. Right. And um, we, we also had a report this week that uh, looked like maybe the Willard hump yard might be next mm -hmm. on the on the cut list. Yep. Or at least the Willard, the, the hump in the Willard yard. The hump in the Willard yard, yeah. yes. Yeah, so, so that's a lot. And then we're expect, we just keep getting more and more trickles out of, out of CSX about what's going on. So basically, if you are a shipper in Cleveland, Buffalo, Syracuse, New York, uh, if you are a shipper on CSX in Florida, things your, could be changing. Your intermodal service will not be what it was. Things could be changing. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, there's a heck of a lot going on there. But the good news is, overall in the rail industry, last week, freight is up. Things I actually are going up. I printed out this week, print large enough that I can possibly see it. Um, you know, in total intermodal units are up 5.5 percent. Total traffic is up 3.1 percent. That's really good news overall. Yeah. Business so, is business is back. Yeah. So maybe it's a fall rush after all. They say the, they say the fall rush is flattened out now, and yeah. it's no longer this big peak. But uh, maybe there is one this year. Yeah, I hope so. And you know, we're going to be we're going to be seeing that. One story that we do have that we're following on, and expect to see this on Newswire in the coming weeks. There's more and more e-commerce driving intermodal. So like the Amazons of the world, and um, you know, not 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 to this extent, but eBay and other people that are shipping um, after they. Uh, bought off of an online right. site, you know those companies are actually taking up whole whole chunks of trains. Now wow. it looks like they, you know, we hear rumors that they might be going direct and going around UPS and and FedEx. Wow. So, I mean, okay, you you heard it here, but you didn't hear it. We're we're trying to chase that rumor. If we if we find it out, we'll get it to you. Watch that one. Yeah. So, a lot of stuff going on. What else What else grabbed you so far, Jim? That's that's the that's end of my list. Yep. All right. Well, we got all those stories and more on Newswire for everyone at Trains Magazine. Have a great weekend. Take care, everyone.